Hey, uh, it's been a long time since I made a video. Um, I think it's been over a year. Anyways, I'm using my really shitty camera because I gave my laptop to my dad and it has a better camera than this one, so the quality of this is gonna suck. But the reason why I'm back is recently I subscribed to Loot Crate, which is 30 bucks a month here for us in Canada, and you'll have to forgive me. I'm getting over a cold, so my voice is really shitty lately. Um, Anyways, so I'm really excited about getting this loot crate, and I'm not gonna lie, I already opened it up and saw what's inside it. Um, it not everything in it was something I really enjoy, but um, I'm looking forward to getting them every month. I was always a big fan of like Kinder Surprise toys, which I'm pretty sure you guys don't have in the States. It's um, a little chocolate egg with uh, white chocolate inside. Um, it's hollow because inside is a little... Um, plastic container that has a toy in it. They used to be way better when I was a kid. Now it's mostly just puzzles and shit that sucks. Anyways, so I'm a surprise bag, kinder surprise, loving girl at heart. So loot crate, you know, it's for me. Anyway, so, um, you guys, here's the loot crate. Said it wasn't supposed to be delivered until January 27th, but, uh, came home and it was on my doorstep, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, and on the bottom, they said, because uh, <coughs> this company, Loot Crate, they launched one of these babies into space, and uh, they put a little launch pad on the bottom here in case you want to launch something in space, which uh, <laughs> don't think I'm going to do. Anyways, let's have a open this up. How about open this up? Have a look at what's inside. Okay, how did I open this up? Yeah. Okay, so the first thing in here is the little magazine that comes with it. This is issue number six, launch is the theme. And in here they have a bunch of things like uh, interviews and there's a exclusive content is Superman Cinema, five films made better by Superman, and then there's an interview with the NASA engineer, and then they talk about how they launched the loot crate into space. <laughs> In the middle, oh no, it's, well the, these are pictures of what was in last month's loot crate, and people getting them, and then. This was this month's epic mega crate, which one lucky person will win. And in there, they got a El Gato Game Capture HD, Star Trek Electronic Tribble, Star Wars Plus Ships, um, Lego Car Curiosity Rover, Star Trek Enterprise Cutaway Model, and a Minecraft Wall Torch. You know, I don't mind not winning this month, but you know, I'm, I like that stuff, but I'm not like a huge fan. So, in this month's Loot Crate, you get a little Superman pop vinyl figurine. And I know you're not supposed to open these because they're not collectible after that, but I don't know. YOLO. I'm not going to live my life collecting little plastic guys as a hobby. There we go. Oh, there's Superman. Um, I like Batman, but there's Superman. This guy's kind of cute. He is kind of cute. So put that aside. Sorry, Superman. Then we, you get like this little <coughs> NASA patch. I'm wearing my Sons of Anarchy hoodie. Um, this will not be going on there. I'll have to find in the, every spring and every fall I buy a new jacket. So I'll be looking for something I can put this on. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Then you get the little button, and it's to be something they include every month now and every loot crate. Just like how the, their magazine they include is collectible, this be a new collectible thing. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I know, I'm sick. Okay, anyways. Well, decal, and it's a Rubik's Cube that looks like it melted. That's pretty cool. I can stick that on my wall. Since it's 
my walls are lacking decoration. <laughs> and then included is the Star Wars Galactic Phrase Book and Travel Guide. Oh, I always go to the wrong side of the camera. It's pretty thick. Look at that. Um, it has chapters that uh, greetings and salutations, space travel, survival, and hooties. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I'm not a big fan. Like, I love, I like Star Wars, but I don't read the books or anything. I just like the movies. Um, how to deal with Ewoks, communicating with Wookiees. That one might actually be my favorite chapter. The basics when it comes to droids. Jawas can be your friends, sand people, or worse. Underwater with the Gungans. I'll be skipping that chapter. They can go fuck themselves. Part of my language. Exposing yourself to the nimmamamama. Getting a haircut. And then it teaches how to speak in tongues. Yeah. Probably skip that part too. So that's pretty cool. And then, like I said, I already opened this. I got a little excited <coughs> when it came. But this is the package that these came in. You can see that. There you go. It is a pocket model trading card game and you get 48 pocket models and six game cards and there was these little stickers there they're tiny I can barely even see them with my own eyes uh, then I got these cards I got escape pod escape tunnel Oh shit, I dropped them. <laughs> Commander Thire, whoever that was. There you go. He's pretty handsome. Look at that. Isn't he? He's a handsome guy. Zet Jacasa, Jacasa, Jacosa, whatever. Some kid. Is that the kid that, uh. Yeah, that is the kid on the platform. Crack shot. I was expecting different crack shot. Never mind. Escort duty. That's what my sister does. Haha, ha, kidding. And then it comes with this in the little. This was in the package too. It's the game rules. But I'm really not going to be playing this game. So that's cool. And then these are the little paper models. You build them yourself. What's that one? And then this one. A piece of plastic or something. And then this, of course, is the Singa Star Trek. I'm wearing a black shirt, not a red shirt. So hopefully I don't die. <laughs> and last but not least, oh yeah, the I already lost the dice. There was little tiny dice that came in with that Star Trek thing. Like, super tiny. I think I already lost them. Every pair of dice I've had in my life, I've lost. Doesn't matter if it was a board game or whatever. Okay. Let's put the box down. Yeah, sorry. It's the Minecraft calendar. And I've never played Minecraft before. You know, my one friend keeps telling me I need to. But I did need a calendar. So let's open this bitch up. <coughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that. Okay. Oh, a nice piece of cardboard to keep it um, from being bent. Let's check out May. Well, here, here we'll go to January first because it is January. That's January's design. Wow. 
My cat's trying to go into the loot crate. That's kind of funny. Anyways, let's go to May because that's my birthday. I always, every time I get a calendar, I check out what May's picture is. And, uh, ew. It's kind of cute. Ooh, ooh. But, uh, I, I personally hate squid. They creep me out. But not as creepy as I find uh, seahorses. Seahorses are pretty freaking creepy. Anyways, that's all. Unboxing my loot crate. Um, like I said, a lot of things in here. Well, not a lot. Like, um, it was it was good. Like this loot crate this month, it was good. But uh, yeah, um, I was hoping there would be more things that I like. Like, um, I know they get a lot of gaming, more gaming stuff than like Star Wars and Star Trek and stuff. And um, I actually really like Street Fighter and the Ninja Turtles. So I'm hoping that maybe next month it has something to do with Street Fighter and Ninja Turtles. Yeah. But anyways, uh, not that bad. It's thirty dollars here in Canada. That's including shipping. Uh, it's only like thirteen thirty-seven in the states. So hopefully, once things settle down, they can lower the price for Canada a bit. Anyways, that's my loot crate unboxing video. Um, I'm waiting to get my voice back. I hate sounding like this. But anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day.